Welcome everybody. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Elementary OS uh, Freya, or maybe it's Freya. I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation, but um, I've been trying this out for the last week and I've been pretty uh, impressed with the simplicity of the uh, design and the apps. And I particularly like this uh, scratch text editor that they got going on. Really nice. Um, I'm a big fan of their their um, shortcuts and keystrokes. Um, how you manage the workspaces is really cool. Let me see here if I remember the keystroke combination for moving it over. Yes, I do. So, so I've been um, pretty happy with this. Midori is a wonderful, lightweight uh, web browser that I, I really love to use. Um, although I do find it crashing on occasion, so I opted to install Firefox when I'm on some script-heavy websites in particular. Uh, Google Plus crashed on me a few times. I think I had YouTube crash on me in Midori. It's, it's not unusual. It's a lightweight um, browser based on, I want to say, uh, WebKit, but don't quote me on that. The calendar is really cool. I was able to uh, set that up to uh, work with uh, my Google uh, account, which was really nice. Um, music is a really cool uh, app that they created. Big fan of that. Very simple. It actually reminds me of a simplified iTunes before Apple screwed uh, screwed it up too much and started try to, trying to add social media and all that to it. I really like, uh, whoa, that is not the video I wanted to watch. That is the one I'm currently recording, oddly enough. I'm surprised it didn't crash everything. Now, what it should have done there was it should have opened my last played video, which was um, a download from the Linux Action Show. So let me, uh, it looks like I'm not going to be able to accomplish that while I'm recording. So maybe it's using um, a similar fashion to uh, my recording method. But what's really cool about the video player, and I guess I can I could show you on this video, is that you can um, hover over it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this icon because there's not a lot of mo movement in the video. But this uh, uh, scrubber will actually show like an animated GIF preview of the video as it's playing. And it does work. I was watching the Linux Action Show previously. I like how they organized their settings pane. Uh, it's nothing nothing new. It's it's uh, very simple. I mean, it's very similar to most, uh, including um, Ubuntu. I love their selection of desktops that they have available. Really, uh, really pretty stuff. And of course, their key, uh, their short coats, shortcuts are pretty amazing. So, uh, Super Key S will move you into uh, the Spaces mode. Uh, Super Key W will show you all the windows on that desktop. Um, Super Key Space Bar will bring down the Slingshot. I believe that's what they call their launcher, where you can uh, type in an app name or. see if I can figure something else out. I think if you, yeah, so even if you type something like email, it'll go to the email client, which is, which is really cool. Um, you could do hotkeys, which is nice. So you can um, set it to minimize on the right, like I did there, or you could set it to maximize like that. So I, I created hotkeys for each corner. That one enters the slingshot, and this one shows all the windows on the desktop. I found the, that to be most useful for my workflow. But if I want to go through the, uh, this is kind of cool. So if you want to move, oh, if you want to move something from one desktop to another, it's similar to, to um, GNOME. Just drop, drop it in there, and it'll add a new desktop. 
it's really pretty. I've been I've been using it for the last couple days. Um, not doing any heavy work in it, but um, again, big fan of this text editor. It looks pretty, and uh, it's uh, it's worth taking a look at and checking out there uh, for any th for any other reason. Just checking out and playing with their um, with their with their applications is totally worth it, right? So here's a bunch of screenshots and and uh, webcam shots I took. Really simple, really basic. I would install this on a family member's computer and then tell them they're running uh, they're running Mac OS, uh, the late, the newest version of Mac OS X. And unless they were looking for a specific application, uh, they probably wouldn't know any better. It would be pretty funny. So so anyway, uh, before I head off, I wanted to show you guys what's really cool. Uh, and a lot of text editors have this feature where you could set different um, settings, but big fan of being able to go in there and set some really nicely designed uh, presets like Oblivion, Solarize Dark. I really like Solarize Dark. And I'm a big fan of Cobalt, which is a classic. Anyway, so that's my overview of Elementary OS Freya. Uh, really fun. I, I really enjoyed using it this week, and um, I think I will uh, keep the USB stick around for a little bit. Um, one thing I do want to mention, though, if uh, if you're a fan of any distribution, whether it's uh, Ubuntu or Zorin um, Elementary, do something in the community uh, to try to uh, pay them back for their efforts. Uh, you, you don't have to donate monetarily. Uh, sometimes you could work on a beta uh, or even just helping out uh, new users in the forum if you're an experienced uh, Linux user. Um, and it's a great way to build uh, a positive um, community around the distribution. And, uh, it, and with Linux, 80% of the distro being awesome is whether or not you can go to the forums for the community and uh, be able to get your questions answered by... Uh, by really nice, knowledgeable, and friendly people. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, probably uh, later this weekend. Take it easy, everyone. Talk to you later.